Hello, beautiful people. I've been receiving so many questions, so many emails and messages from parents, uh, teachers, and also, um, I should say, advanced students or students who are looking at becoming teachers themselves with ch uh, questions that express the need and urgency of what we are all going through in these unprecedented times. I'm saying unprecedented times, unprecedented times, and actually want to say crazy times, insane times. But at the same time, I'm aware of the fact that this all got, becomes so big, transcends any and every um, bad dream that we could dream so big and so um, so big and so uh, beyond us that it really draws my attention to feel that it's more than than i can see so i am not going to go into we should go through these and uh, beautiful times coming ahead and because the truth is that none of us know the only thing that we know in the midst of pain, sorrow, grief, anger, resentment, depression, loneliness, and so many more, the only thing that we can um, ask or maybe control to some extent is how can we serve? How can we serve the people around us? How can we serve life? How can we serve nature? How can we serve a flower, a person, humanity? I've got here a question asked by a mother that uh, her child learns to play, I think it's a cello, she did not specify. But it's, I think it's cello, it's a cello student. I think I met her in one of the Zoom gatherings we had. And her question, the, I like the wording, but the question is actually really representing the question asked and maybe not even asked by many parents. And uh, this mother is asking, in these times that the world is burning, that the world is going through such a difficult, difficult unprecedented pain, I sometimes feel a little bit um, silly even, that I'm actually asking my child to come and practice the instrument. I'm thinking that things which are so beyond playing music now, how can I be so petty and ask my child to practice the instrument? Do you have any words, um, she's writing any words of wisdom to say on the topic? So thank you for writing so beautifully. I don't think I have any words of wisdom. I'm not even sure that I've got any wisdom left. But um, Dr. Clarissa Pinkola St says that wisdom is whatever works. So adapting this, I will say what comes into my mind now. And please let us know as time goes by, if it has worked. And if it has worked, we can maybe put it under the title of wisdom, as long as it serves, as long as it works. I understand where this question is coming from. I totally understand. It's like feeling, am I going to do um, life as usual when the, nothing is as usual in the world? And what comes to my mind is, uh, the activity of music, making music, learning to play an instrument, helping your child practice, helping your child grow their potential in music and in life. It, if, even if you've done, it, you've done it before, before the times, or as I call them, BC, before Corona, they still are very valid. The engagement in music goes beyond healing. Music has got its own medicine. And the ability to let your child 
be able to express themselves through music. And the time that you spend with your child, preparing and practicing and working towards this skill, is not just beyond measurements. I think it's even more important than anything nowadays. So answering the question, shall I go on with my life, with my normal life? My answer will be, by all means, yes, please, please do. Please take your child, hug your child, go to the instrument, spend some time making music together, sit back, just watch your child struggling, succeeding, creating sound, sometimes beautiful, sometimes less, persevering, concentrating on something which has life on its own, which goes beyond the boundaries of language, beyond borders, beyond anything which separates us because this is the power of music. So I would say yes, now like always, but maybe even more than always, keep your music going. Keep your music going together, alone, sing together, listen to music together, play together. As Pablo Casals, the great cellist said, perhaps it will be music that will save the world. Lots of love. Please keep safe. Keep well. And we'll all play. We will all pray. Pray and play. Bye for now.